I'm Scarlett Jauncey. And I'm Jamaica Jauncey, and we're Yaru from Broome, Western Australia. I'm 19 years old, she's 20 years old. I play goalkeeper and she plays goal shooter. I think I was in grade maybe three and uh, my friends at school were playing netball and I was like, oh, I want to do that. I want to do what my friends are doing. And the first, I remember the first training session, I was with my like young, like, best friend since like pre-primary and um, we were like, oh, I want to go play in the playground. And mum goes, if you go play in the playground, then you're not going to be doing any more netball. And I said, okay, we'll just go play in the playground. Didn't play that season. So <laughs> I had to wait till the next season to play. But yeah. Yeah, pretty similar with me. I was in year one, so the same year that she started. Um, and yeah, just sort of playing because my friends were in it. So yeah, just a bit of fun, yeah. So I remember like when we were younger playing um, for school and stuff like that. And then we moved over to Queensland and it got a lot more serious here, playing rep teams, club teams, and then making state teams. Then moving back to um, Perth and doing, you know, more state and then one all league. And now this, yeah. Yeah, sort of same thing. Um, obviously, when we started, it was just sort of for the school team. Um, and then we moved over to Queensland and it was pretty competitive over here. So we joined along um, and yeah, made state teams and whatever and had COVID. So then we moved back to Perth and then, yeah, just kept going up from there, state teams, Oz teams, yeah. Also moving to Queensland, there was a lot more opportunities for Indigenous yeah. netballers growing up. We played in a lot of the teams with some of the girls um, that we're in the team with now, which is really great to see the progression mm -hmm. and to be able to play with them again. Yeah, like, I definitely didn't think it would happen as quick as it did, um, but everyone's been working so hard behind the scenes to make this team come true and come alive. And yeah, I think we're just really all just trying our hardest to do what we can with the team and just get our name out there and yeah, play some good netball, I guess. When we actually got the call up for the team, I got the call first from Ali because I'd known her from her coaching me at Oz Camp. Um, and when she told me about this team, I was like, wow, this is amazing. And then I went into Jay's room to go tell her the news and then she was getting the call and I was like, wow, so we've both just made this amazing team. And yeah, when we told our dad he was over the moon, he'd always wanted an Indigenous team in the Pacific Oz tournament. Um, and yeah, so it was really great to see us come together be our playing this team. I also think for as an Indigenous woman, it's hard to see, like we have some role models growing up, like Belle Friday and now Danelle Wallum. Um, definitely for me and Lisa Mai Mai, Gemma Mai Mai. Um, yeah, so it's been hard to see myself in a high performance level when we don't have many role models to look up to. Yeah, look yeah. up to. Definitely. So I actually have my Oz camp coming up in oh, next month, which got selected from the under 19s nationals in Melbourne this year. Um, and then I'm currently also playing in the FIBA reserves, which I had to miss a couple games to come play this. Um, but yeah, sacrifice I was willing to take, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm just playing for Western Australian Netball League for West Coast Warriors. Um, yeah, Danelle played in that same team, so I feel very proud, yeah. And I'm playing for the um, Curtin Hammersley Comets in yeah. the Netball League, so playing against each other, yeah. I mean, it's hard for our dad. He never knows which shirt to wear. He needs like a split shirt down the middle um, to be able to support both of us, but yeah. he sort of just has to keep quiet and support Which is both hard, of us. hard yeah. for him. Definitely. But we love him, so. It's amazing um, to be able to step out on court for this First Nations team for the first time on the international stage um, and to do it with all the girls has been really special and fun. Yeah, and also like showing um, little ones that are back home, you know, just that anything's possible and we're the role models for that. It's just, it's amazing. Yeah. The ripple effect yeah, yeah. of the black swan. Most of us are different mobs, different We're home countries. Different areas, yeah. yeah. But I think we all have share the same, you know, unique ways of playing and that's why we play so well, yeah. Yeah, and um, playing with other teams from different cultures, it's amazing to yeah. hear their stories and we had with a couple of teams a gift exchange, so getting to be able to learn them on a personal level and we're actually staying at the same place as some of the girls. So yeah, hanging around the pool, having a bit of a dance and stuff's been really fun. In our team meetings, had a couple of the past players give us a nice message before the game, which 
I think really hyped everyone up. Hi Black Swans, it's Danelle Wallum here. Firstly, I just want to congratulate you all on making the squad. Um, it's such an incredible achievement in itself and I hope you guys are all proud um, of yourselves being there. I'm so proud of you all. Um, you know, it's been a long time coming um, for us to have these pathways and um, yeah, Ali pushing for this is so amazing and for you guys to get this opportunity is just incredible and I hope you really enjoy this journey and embrace this journey and the challenges that it brings. Um, you know, it's going to shape you guys to be, you know, incredible athletes to come and you guys are paving the way in this space. You guys are our leaders. So yeah, I really hope you enjoy this journey. I can't wait to watch you guys run out there and play. Um, you know, it's really special to be part of an in all squad and I hope that you guys have really bonded over that and, um, yeah, can really produce some great netball this week and, you know, be proud to wear that dress and, um, be in the black swans. I think it's, yeah, such an incredible achievement and I'm so proud of you guys. So, yeah, have fun out there. Good luck tonight and I'll be watching, um, across the week. See ya. Also, everyone ended up shedding another tear, I think, yeah. um, listening to them and they're watching us and, giving us their support, yeah. Yeah, it's just so inspirational to be able to see them watching us instead of, you know, us watching them trying to relive what they were doing, yes. Yeah, and so I think um, the common theme between all of them was saying, like, that they wish they had a team like this when they were younger. Um, so to be able to see that now, they're really proud. Yeah. yeah, and to be the first, <laughs> it's just, you can't even put it into Describe it, yeah. I have a couple um, superstitions. I have to put all my bag and stuff on the end of the court on the last chair. I also have to warm up on the end side of the court. And then also before a game, I have to have a red Powerade or Gatorade. I don't really have anything like that. Yeah. No, not really. So I think this has obviously been our highlight and our top memory um, over the years to be able to play together for the inaugural Black Swans. Um, yeah, really proud moment. Yeah.